Hi everyone, today is another vlog which will bring you through a day in my life as an OD consultant. So as you can see, I'm in office right now and I have to go to the recording studio very soon to prepare and set up for the filming later. What's going to happen today is a series of filming. So we'll be filming the executive management team and we'll be filming them individually and they will be sharing some personal stories, anecdotes and their experiences. We hope that this will be an informal platform for our staff to be able to understand what the core values mean to each of our leaders as well as how they practice and live out the core values. So this video is actually one part of the entire core values project and portfolio that I'm working on. In the last vlog, you actually heard about the core values workshop which I'm in the process of refining before we implement it for our staff. The video is just another part of this project where our leaders share their personal stories and experiences with our people and hopefully inspire them and also to show them how it permeates the work we do, the way we interact with one another, which is basically the DNA and the culture of the organization that we're trying to drive. Daily interactions that we have, whether it's with our teams or cross teams uh, across the organization. This entire core values project is actually crucial to the work that I do as an OD consultant because it actually helps to drive a high performance culture when we share the same belief system, the same value system, and when we exhibit the same value-based behaviors. As I mentioned, this is just one of the work streams. There are other work streams such as the awards that we give out in terms of recognition and celebrating people who embody these core values. In the vlog today, I can't really share too much about it but this is the gist of it all. <laughs> so as an internal OD consultant, this was one of the ideas which I came up with to create this video. I had to storyboard and also to come up with the purpose, the intention of this video and to share this with the EMT and get their buy-in to get them to film this video as well so they understand the objective and the impact of the video that we are trying to achieve. It's pretty much an internal effort so we are doing it internally with help from my colleagues that you're going to see in the video later. In terms of editing, I'm going to try to do the first cut and we'll be getting external help to do the final post-production on the video because there are quite a few things that I have to manage ongoing for other projects and so yeah, this is about time distribution and management I guess. I think I'll head on down to the recording studio. Although I conceptualized this video, it's still in a very raw stage and I'm quite nervous. <laughs> I guess things will work out eventually, right? I'll try to do some filming later but I'm not sure if I can capture anything because of confidentiality reasons and PDPA, so we'll see. I'm in the recording studio. So this is the recording studio. Basically, that's the backdrop. We have some equipment here. This is where the speaker will sit. That's the camera, that's the sound, here's the microphone that we'll use to hook up with the speaker. So this is the screen which will show what is being recorded. I have a few friends in the office today and I think I'll be meeting them for lunch later. We should be heading out to have our lunch. So let's go find them. Don't cry lah! Travel them aggressive yeah. Yeah, one star, one star. <laughs> Lunchtime. Are you okay? Nail lah. I'm looking at my Happiness is a cliche. But I remember your name.
They're packing up. <laughs> packing up. The filming is done for today. We'll see y'all next week. And I would say the filming went quite smooth. I really appreciated the efforts that the EMT went through to answer the interview questions very honestly, genuinely. We have three more filming sessions next week on Monday and Tuesday. And I will see if I have the time and the chance to vlog that. Part of my job as an OD consultant is to come out with ideas. Creative thinking and thinking out of the box is one of the skills that you need to have as an OD consultant because you have to propose new ideas of how you hope to drive an initiative, the objectives that you hope to achieve out of this initiative that you're going to implement, as well as the outcomes, the impact that it's going to have on the people that you are working to influence and engage. But yes, I think you saw two of my other colleagues who were helping out with the filming earlier on. I've not seen most of them for two years or more. <laughs> it's a bit scary how COVID actually brought the physical distance further. Yeah, the most I've met them was virtually, mostly them seeing me on a virtual screen because of the virtual activities that we have, uh, the town halls and, and briefings and workshops. So it's usually one way and I don't have the opportunity to see most of them or have a conversation with most of them. It was a good opportunity for me to catch up with some of my colleagues that I've not seen for two years. But I do have a lot of paperwork to do. I'm not sure if I can knock off on time today. <laughs> it's Friday! But yes, I would say that today was a very, very productive day. Oh yeah. Guess where I am? I'm back here at the recording studio. It's Monday and we have one filming session today. Brought my external hard disk as usual because I need to transfer the videos into it. <laughs> oh, zoom nearly. Oh, kind of pie tofa. <laughs> These are the people who help. Eh, what's that? So I'm in the office again today. One, two, one. It's so cool. Hey guys. So as an OD consultant, there are basically many parts to the job and this core values video is also just one part of the entire huge project I'm working on. It's an enabler, I suppose, a platform for the EMT to share their personal thoughts, experiences and views on the importance of our core values and what it means to them. This will be the first time that I believe our staff are hearing from the EMT themselves. Being an OD consultant also means that there are many things that I have to get my hands dirty on and it's pretty much me doing most of the work. I have to conceptualize the video, the storyboard as well as settle the logistics of where I'm gonna do the filming, how am I gonna film the people and the resources required as well as the editing after that which constitutes to the post-production of the video. It can be quite overwhelming also but I think that the impact that you'll create eventually will be a worthwhile one. I'm actually gonna go home now. It's 6.30 already. I'm not done with work but I think I really need to eat my dinner. So yes, I'm gonna head on home now. Today is actually the last day of filming for the core values video and this also means that I need to go through all the footages and deciding what content I want for each segment of the video. It's gonna be a very tedious process before I pass over the footages for the vendor to do the stitching and also the other effects for me. So I'm not sure if I'm sharing enough for you to understand what the job of an OD consultant entails but if you are interested to find out more or if you are thinking of taking up a role of an OD consultant and you have some questions for me, just feel free to drop them in, in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Happiness.